driving test, the examiner might ask you to pull up on the right hand side on a safe and convenient place and make sure you don't park in front of a driveway. Uh -huh. test the examiner might ask you to pull up on the right hand side on a safe and convenient place and make sure you don't park in front of a driveway and not, not park, don't park on a single yellow double yellow or a bus stop or, or in front of a, yeah or on a junction yeah um also um when you do park on the right hand side take your time so don't uh, pull up immediately on the right hand side as soon as the examiner asks you to pull up on the right hand side take a bit of time when he, when he says pull up on the right hand side look first for a nice and safe spot then do your mirror checks routine like center mirror right mirror with the right signal then you're gonna pull up on the right hand side on a safe place make sure you are reasonably close to the curb uh, usually within a door length gap should be fine um, once you stop on the on the park on the right hand side make sure you secure your car and then wait for his directions after you park he will most likely uh, he will most likely ask you to reverse back about two car lengths gap about two car lengths gap it doesn't have to be exactly two car lengths guys so don't worry about if you're too far back or too or too close just refers back about two car lengths sometimes the examiner uh, tells you already to stop if he feels you have a nice distance okay while you're reversing it's really important to look in the back window to look at all your shoulders to look at your right mirror and i sticked a small round, a round mirror on on my right mirror which is faced a little bit down to the curb so use that mirror to see how far you are from the curb most instruct instructors have it if you don't have one uh, instructor make sure you get one it just makes uh, life easier okay while you're reversing what speed are we going to use the speed is like very very slow pace so on cross control not that much gas or hardly any gas uh, and you're gonna reverse back about two car lengths if you see any traffic from the front or the back or pedestrian walking from the right hand side just make sure you wait and have a quick glance at the pedestrians or the, the traffic wait a slight wait slightly let them go through when they go through then you continue your maneuver by going backwards okay once you're done secure your car by going to neutral and handbrake then the examiner asks you when safe move off again most people they move up at this point wrong because they already think like okay i've done the maneuver very nicely now i'm gonna move up and they totally forget the observations so once you've done the maneuver make sure you do your observations right again make sure you use your signals again if you if needed most likely you will need it on the on the driving test day because it's it's gonna be traffic usually because usually during the daytime um so do your routine with checkings make sure you signal and then look for a safe safe spot to go also what a lot of people do wrong is um because sometimes they are parked in, in behind the car so they can't see nothing so make sure you reverse back on a nice spot also what you can do is like lean a little bit to the left to see if there's any cars coming and sometimes you won't be able to see what's coming you can ask the examiner can i is it a nice spot to go could you help me they might help you they might help you not so it's it's up to them. okay during the drive the examiner is going to ask me to pull up on the right hand side on a safe place so i'm going to look first for a nice safe place and i can see a nice safe place there uh, i'm going to check my mirrors i'm going to signal right and make sure there's no oncoming cars in front of me and then i'm going to slowly drift to the right because they're like a quarter of steering and then as soon as that as i see my reference point is going to hit the line of the curb which is that sticker i'm going to straighten up the wheel and i'm going to stay a little bit to the left okay and then straighten up the wheel and i'm not going to fully stop yet because if i stop i can't adjust my car anymore so i'm going to make it nice and walking pace and look at the small round mirror i have got a nice and decent clearance away and i'm close enough to the curb and from here i'm going to stop okay once you stop make sure you secure your car neutral handbrake and then the examiner is going to ask you to reverse back about two car lengths so it doesn't have to be exactly two car lengths so try to make it um 
roughly two car lengths. So I would say uh, a car is about four, three meters long. So I'm gonna refer back roughly about three car lengths. Some examiners are gonna ask you to stop already after a car length. Uh, and um, that means like they're already happy with the distance, okay? So I'm gonna refer back, I'm gonna select the gear. But look around me first. And I'm gonna keep my wheel nice and straight. I'm gonna use a very, very slow pace. And while I'm reversing, I'm gonna keep checking everything. Not only the wing mirror, not only the back wi window, not only the camera, I'm gonna look literally like everywhere around me. Especially my shoulders. And the camera is very helpful because I can see how far I am from the curb and if I'm still going straight. And the small round mirror is very helpful. And if you see about two car lengths away, which which this is, I'm gonna stop the car, secure the car. Then the examiner is gonna ask you to move off again when safe. So you're gonna do your observations again, but this time I'm gonna start from the right hand side instead of the left hand side because we are moving to that way, to the left hand side. So I'm gonna look around me, make sure you signal if needed, and if you see anyone coming, just wait. And move off again and join the traffic. This is the uh, maneuver parking on the right hand side and then reverse back so thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe and like and let me know in the comments below if you do want to see any more videos and if you do want to if you do struggle with this maneuver just let me know I can send you uh, more videos and uh, send you more advice thank you for watching Take care. First thing, please don't panic because it's not straight away the end of the test. You won't fail straight away. What if you park too far away from the curb or uh, you are a slightly slanted away from the curb? So the front of the car is closed but the back is wide. Don't panic. I'm gonna show you the best way how to fix um, uh, yeah, how to fix it when you are uh, a bit wide or a bit slanted away from the curb. So as you can see, I'm gonna pull up on the right hand side uh, next to that curb. So I'm gonna check my mirrors, I'm gonna signal right, and I am gonna do it slightly wrong. So I'm gonna go wide as so a worst case scenarios. So I am uh, too, well, I'm close from the, in front of front. So I can see that I am close with my front tires, but with my rear tires, I'm a bit wider. Okay, a lot of people, what they're gonna try to do is when the examiner asks them to refer back to car lengths, they're gonna try to fix it at that point while they're going straight and that's really hard sometimes. So the best thing to do is you might as well go a little bit forward before you start reversing back. And that's allowed. So uh, before you go backwards, so if the examiner asks you please refer back to car lengths, don't go back straight away, go a little bit forward, forward first, but straighten up the car by going, by steering to the left. So I'm gonna steer to the left. And I can see from the side mirrors that I am nice and straight now and I'm also very nice and close to the curve and at this point I'm gonna reverse back okay so I'm gonna look around me and then I'm gonna reverse back nice and slowly of course about three car lengths and then there you go that's about three car lengths then exam is gonna ask you to move off and you move off Enjoy the traffic. What if you're too far away from the curb and you stopped already? And yeah, and you figure out that you are too far away from the curb. How do we figure out? You can see from the small round mirror or the or the, or the door mirrors, you can see how far you are from the curb. And if you see you are too far away from the curb, 
and the examiner is it's not saying anything that means like you need to start fixing it the best way to fix it is just go slightly forward and then drift a little bit to the right so I'm gonna show you that one so make sure you look around you still go slightly forward a little bit to the right and then a little bit to the left as you can see on the steering and then at this point I'm gonna stop and then you're gonna start reversing back because if you already if you're gonna reverse back while you're wide that will be very hard to fix it because then you have to steer towards the curb and then look at the mirror and steer wider and then you have a big chance of touching the curb and stuff <laughs>